Hey, Collective Hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Shout out to the entire YouTube fam. Shout out to uh, everyone that has booked a personal reading, everybody that has donated, guys. Um, shout out to everybody in that comment section. Let's see, what is this message for the collective? What is this message for the collective? Whoa, we have these flipped out. I'll take them. We have you have a big mission here on earth, and you will regret messing with the chosen one here. I feel like somebody could be trying to block your destiny here. You have a big mission on earth, but then it came out with uh you will regret messing with the chosen one. Somebody is trying uh, is attempting to block your mission. We got sage your space. Make sure you're cleansing your energy, okay? Again, I'm picking up on the energy where it's like somebody is trying to block your destiny. Somebody don't want you walking uh, in your mission, fulfilling your purpose, heading towards your north node. Yeah, but you are God's ambassador. You are uh, a descendant of Jesus here. Wow, powerful. You work directly with God, whoever you are. You work directly with God. So, yeah, it's like the devil is mad. The devil is attempting to block your mission. The, the devil don't want you to fulfill your purpose here. The devil don't want you taking the narrow road. But you are God's ambassador. You come from Jesus' uh, lineage here. This flip right out. We got remain calm at this time. Remain calm at this time. I'm going to pull a couple more from uh, this deck, actually. Yeah, these two came out. We got uh, Earth Angel generational curse breaker and we have black sheep here you could definitely be the black sheep in the family okay you could definitely be kind of frowned upon in the family here but you are an earth angel there are natural healing abilities that you have here you are here to raise the vibration raise the frequency uh, of the universe and again we got generational curse breaker you will go beyond ancestral patterns here you will go beyond ancestral patterns here. Yeah, want to split here, ancient Egyptian ancestors. Again, you will go beyond ancestral patterns. You are the chosen one out of the family here with generational curse breaker. You, you are the one chosen to break these curses. There are many different curses, okay? There could be financial curses that you gonna break, okay? Uh, there could be, you know, like I say, some families do those family secrets. No, we're not doing that over here. We're going to break that generational curse. Poverty and lack are generational curses. There are many generational curses that you can break here. But again, collective, I see you go going beyond your ancestral patterns. I see you going beyond tradition. And I'm going to pull from, um, let's actually pull from this, <clears throat> this other deck. Again, I feel like I want to, I really want to clarify this one card with tarot. You will regret messing with a chosen one. But listen, I was going to pull from tarot and then I stopped here to grab tarot and say, wait, it's not time yet. So I'm going to wait. I'm not going to pull from tarot yet. <laughs> That's funny. And then we have trust the time and yeah, um, so spirit don't want me pulling tarot right now. 
but I really want to tap into this you will regret messing with the chosen one. I, again, I feel like it's somebody attempting to uh, block your destiny. Somebody attempting to stop your mission. But little do they know you are God's ambassador. You work directly with God that you cannot be touched. You are an earth angel. You have natural healing abilities. Nothing the enemy do will work. You were chosen to break these generational curses here, collective. Yeah, we got, I'm sorry, def defenselessness, uh, riding past wrongs, uprooting. It's falling on you will regret messing with the chosen one. That's funny because, wow. Um, listen, some, somebody coming to apologize to you about something. Listen, karmic relationships here. Somebody from your past, uh, uh, a karmic relationship, whether this was family, whether this was romantic, somebody coming to apologize. Something happened. They know it was because of something that they did towards you. Wow, God bringing them back to you. They gonna have to apologize to make it right. What else is it that the collective need to know? Yeah, this is that person's energy. Them feeling defenseless. Them feeling defenseless because of God's wrath. Wow, your ancestors' wrath. Wow, we got star ancestors here. Somebody ancestors not playing. Wow, you have a big mission. Okay, this also falling on you have a big mission here on earth. Hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Um, Look a little deeper. I feel like there are, um, I feel like there are, there is a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, a lot of, uh, uh, intelligence, divine intelligence that you have here with this star ancestors, this hidden secrets. You know about being connected to the stars, okay? Somebody come from an ancient divine lineage, okay? Because it's, the ancients knew uh, more than we do about connection to the stars, okay? The pyramids, the temples, uh, places to worship and things like that. You have access to this ancient wisdom at this time. This ancient wisdom is going to help you along your journey, Um, I'm sorry guys. I know King thing in their little device is extra loud. Um, I'm just not going to get up to turn it down. I can't right now. But again, you're being invited to step into your ancient knowingness. Okay. Um, you're, you're here to remember and uncover ancient secrets and transmissions. Okay. Technology and wisdom that are so needed on the planet right now, okay? You're going to unlock your soul memories of a time when we lived in harmony on earth, okay? It's something you're tapping into here. This is a part of your mission. To tap into this information, I feel like to you're going to create some. It talked about technology here. We got say uh, jump in, say yes to change. There's some sort of change that is taking place here. Yeah, we got the seven star sisters, birth and creations, a tapestry of life expression. What did I say? It's something you're supposed to be tapping into here. We talked about technology. For some of you, this is going to be, you're birthing some sort of creation here. This is your purpose. This is your mission here on earth. You have a, a significant goal or some sort of significant opportunity at hand, okay? And it's like, don't wait for uh, permission. You already have permission from the universe. You already have permission from God. It's like surf the waves of life again. Whatever this is, something that you're passionate about. 
this could be um something surrounding some sort of adventure or i'm just uh hearing the word adventurous i'm hearing the word adventurous here i also feel like um again with the seven star sisters here uh, uh you know creativity and um intuition comes from the same place okay Again, creativity and intuition comes from the same sacred place. So somebody is tapping into creativity here, or it's time to tap into creativity. It's time for you to tap into your uh, intuition. I feel like your intuition is going to guide whatever creation this is you're creating. Again, your intuition will guide this creation. There's some sort of creative project you're being called to work on. This could be a business, a book. This is something you called to do. This is a part of your mission here on earth. There is something that you do creative where you can express yourself. This is the area you're being called to work in. Okay, I'm going to get a couple more cards and then I'm going to close out the reading because King's um, tablet is extra loud. Um, all right, let's see. Let's get two more cards. <clears throat> Give me two more cards for the collective. Give me two more cards for the collective. Longing for home. Homesick for the stars. You are definitely a star seed here, collective. You are definitely a star seed here, baby. Again, you could definitely, I feel like, feel homesick of some sort, okay? Or you're feeling, again, like, it's like you're missing something while you're here on earth. I feel like um, you have some sort of yearning in your heart. It could be a yearning to travel. Uh, just, again, um... You're, it's really yearning for home. You, you may not even know what to call it, but it's like something inside of you misses something. Or your spirit is resonating heavily uh, with something else that you're not getting here on earth. But it's like you're being called to anchor, okay, all of your presence, your personality, your soul, okay, your spirit here and now. Fully commit to living this life because you have a purpose here on earth. All right, let's see. Wow. Listen, we have you are not alone here. Flip right out. Isolation physical connection, community here. Some of you are definitely in this hermit energy. You are uh, very isolated here. But again, I see you coming from out of isolation again because it's something that you're going to create that's going to blow up. You have limited physical connection here as well. But I also see you coming into connection with your soul tribe people more like you, people that are also spiritually connected, other high vibrational beings here. You are not alone again. We got surrender to the sweetness of life, okay? Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. And again, this is you walking into this pleasure, you, you fulfilling your mission here on earth. Okay, guys, so I'm going to close out the reading here. I hope this message resonated. If it did, please leave a thumbs up, okay? Um, if you would like to book a personal reading, the information will be in the description below. Thank you, guys.